The year is 2258. The name of the place is Babylon 5. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for some more Babylon 5. Today I'm checking out Season 1 Episode 4, Infection. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm enjoying all your comments for Babylon 5. It seems to be a very beloved series, so I'm very looking forward to getting deeper into the series. But for now, I'm only on episode 4, so give this video a like and let's get straight into it. He took out a fighter to check out a damaged transport. Isn't that sort of job usually delegated to someone else? Probably. But he likes to fly. He's like that. Well, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen him since I came aboard. Maybe he's just trying to avoid her. According to the translator, it's either an aphrodisiac or a floor wax. Can't decide if it's worth the risk or not. Mr. Garibaldi. Please. Try it as a floor wax first and see what happens. You know, if this interview hadn't been set up weeks ago by Earth Force Public Relations, I'd swear that Commander Sinclair did not want to be interviewed by Interstellar Network News. <laughs> I can't imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second anniversary of Babylon 5 going online. Okay. They've only been up and running for two years? I thought it might have been a bit longer than that. At 500 to 1. Against. Is there a bathroom around here? <laughs> she seems very high strung. I've come to offer you an adventure, Stephen. Very possibly the biggest adventure you've ever had. What kind of adventure? Uh, you'll find out soon enough. Savor the mystery, Stephen. Is that guy from NCIS? Kind of looks and sounds like that the doctor that was on there. But I've only seen a few episodes of that. I have seen pretty much all of NCIS Los Angeles. Here, let me show you. <laughs> okay. It was the dawn of the third age of mankind. Ten years after the Earth Minbari War. I wonder if we'll get to see more of the past, especially the Earth and the Minbari War. Seems like it might be a bigger part of the series. Especially what they've shown of Sinclair and uh, Dellen so far. All the signs point to death by natural causes. Heart attack from the look of it. That sudden. How would that look like that? I'll know more after we do an autopsy. <laughs> there's surely evidence that there's not a heart attack. Firstly, I'd like to introduce you to my assistant. Nelson, meet Dr. Okay. Stephen Franklin, one of the best students I ever had. What are these two working on? Dr. Hendricks told me all about you on our way in from our dig on Icara 7. Dick, you found something. Show him. It's funny. I just had an energy. I thought it was around MedLab. It was just there for a second. Interesting, they can pick that up. Must have been a large energy spike. What were they made to do? Well, that's where you come in. Oh, fair, if they told I you. know, I know. Humor me. Well, what do you know? It's technology. Veins, capillaries, traces of DNA, fans. This artifact is composed of living tissue. This is organic technology. Okay. That Earth hasn't yet been able to crack. The ability to create living ships that you thrive in the vacuum organic. of space. To create weapons that produce their own power through internal generation. A firefly lights up at night. The ultimate synthesis of machine technology. And they got organic ships in the um, basket too. We've only been here a few hours. But organic material has to be quarantined for 48 hours before it's allowed in the station. We put it all through quarantine at the other end. Why is he in such a rush? It's all approved and authorized. Nelson has all the paperwork if you're really interested. When I mean, he could have just waited 48 hours, didn't really have to kill that other guy. Well, there are better equipped okay. facilities back on Earth. I yeah. need someone I can trust. Why? Surely Earth would want this kind of technology? Given pretty much anything he wants and needs to create organic ships? So are you in or out? I don't know why he wants to keep it a secret for. Unless he wants to keep this tech to himself. Okay. Oh. This that's where the infection comes in. 
It looked like some kind of energy discharge. We've been picking up some unusual energy readings the last few hours. I thought I'd wait around a little to see if it happens again. Anything serious? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, keep me informed. I guess I haven't pinpointed it to the lab yet. It'll be fun, so why are you ducking her? The last time I gave an interview, they told me to just relax and say what I really felt. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. Last I got transferred to an outpost so far off the star maps, you couldn't find it with a hunting dog and a Ouija board. Hmm. Just be that charming, effervescent commander we've all come to know and love. What's the worst that can happen? They fire you, ship you off to the rim, and I get promoted to commander. I don't see a problem here. <laughs> okay. Wakes up ring. We apply for a secondary patent based on alien technology. Sell it to an Earth corporation for a percentage of the profits. <laughs> yeah. This was the payday. Frankly, I'm a little uncomfortable about corporations financing expeditions to alien worlds so they can steal whatever technology they have. Feels a little like grave robbing. Kind of. I've walked in vaults that have been sealed longer than has been a human race. Breathing air that's five million years old. Okay. Man, that's a long time. Finding a vault that's five million years old? What kind of civilization is that? I came here because I wanted your help and friendship. If that's too much of a burden... No, it is not. It might be. People start dying around here. And I suggest we get a good night's sleep and start again tomorrow fresh. If you have any questions then, I'll be glad to answer them. Fair enough. Yeah. Or he could just answer them now. I've come across several rumors surrounding your record prior to Babylon 5. That you were fired five times for unspecified personal problems and that this is your last chance to make good. <laughs> fired five times. Whoa. Is he being transformed? Maybe he's being possessed by the aliens that this technology came from. My God. Oh. What happened? Protect. Okay. That reminds me of so much of Blue Beetle. With the scarab on his chest instead of the back. Even his hand that turned into a gun. <laughs> Looks so much like Blue Beetle. Well, they're a kind of organic technology, limited energy. In order to achieve mobility, they have to graft themselves onto another life form. Organic? It's possible that if they were activated, they tried to assimilate Nelson. This is exactly like Blue Beetle. Protect. Protect. More like kill. Oh, okay. Vaporized me. Commander, I've secured the link. What's that planet they're orbiting? Did they always orbit that planet? Jeez. Looks like it's gone full armor mode. This is reminding me so much of Blue Beetle. It's almost identical. In almost every way. The organic patterns in this piece emulate the synaptic relays in the brain. I'm even picking up cross genetic equivalents of serotonin used in the transfer of information. A data storage device? Okay, organic memory card. The machines turned on their creators. They began a process of extermination based on the slightest deviation of what they were programmed to consider normal. They killed and kept killing until the last okay. card was dead. So they created something that killed them all? Is there anything there we can talk to, reason with? Well, there's a complete personality matrix, yes, but it's totally subsumed by its program. And we'll just have to find a way around the logic of the program. Okay. You can do that. Gotta try to reach past its programming. Uh, does have a no effect. I think they're gonna need bigger weapons. And that's what we'll have to do. Blow out the hull. Where are you going? I'll try to lure it into the dock. Send it out to space. Seal the area and blow out the airlock. Armored or not, nothing can live in a vacuum. Uh, that's a good plan. Also the same plan that Spider-Man had in Infinity War. Tular of Ikara 7. My name. Okay, at least it recognizes his own name. Your world is dead. Ikara lives! Ikara must be protected! I wanted to protect it so much they killed everybody on the planet. Okay. 
How did that not kill him? He's been blasting holes in doors and floors all episode. And that shot barely stunned him. There is no one coming. Dude, Sinclair's going one-on-one -on -one with this dude. You can access his memories. See for yourself. Can he? Look inside his mind. That'd be helpful. He can't hide the truth. He can't lie to you. Look deep. Look at it. <laughs> this dude's gonna self-implode once he figures it out. You and the rest. You forgot the first rule of the fanatic. When you become obsessed with the enemy, you become the enemy. Great Maker! Forgive us! This madness! I don't know, it might be a bit too late for that. Forgive us! Maybe if they realize this while well, they're killing everybody? Even that thing itself looks like a blue beetle scarab. Okay, Sam swarms immediately back to you. That's interesting. I spoke to Nelson. He confirms things I'd hoped I was wrong about. You knew he did not put those artifacts through quarantine. Is he still alive? The corporation that financed the dig on Ikara 7 is a front. A front for a bioweapons supplier. Okay. Just like Cord Industries? From Blue Beetle? Oh, I'm sure I could control it. I never expected anybody okay. to get hurt. What about the murdered customs guard? Well, we had to get them through customs. Still had to kill someone just to get here. That's why the weapon bonded to him and not to one of us. The program needed someone willing to kill. Alright, I'm gonna stop with the Blue Beetle comparisons, but this is so much like it. The Scarab had to choose its host. All this out. We can sell the rest of the artifacts to interplanetary expeditions, not turn me in. I think this dude thinks he's gonna better convince him to take the money. You've looked better. <laughs> he could have looked way worse. This is the third time in the last year you've put yourself on the line like this. I didn't know anyone was counting. Yeah, I think it's going to happen a lot more in this series. The war gave them definition, direction, purpose. Without it, they don't know how to fit in anymore, so they keep looking for ways to go out in a blaze of glory. He thinks he's looking for death? I think they're looking for something worth dying for because it's easier than finding something worth living for. Mm. Finished. Yeah. I guess that covers it. I don't know if that applies to Sinclair. I haven't seen it enough yet. I don't have an answer for you. He's not even sure himself. I think maybe I should. Thanks. Give him something to think about. Back home, there's a growing pro-Earth movement. Rumors of hate groups targeting aliens. And on all sides, the fanatics. Well, that's not surprising. Dr. Franklin, I have orders to confiscate the artifacts and transfer them to Earth Central. On whose authority? Earth Force Defense, Bioweapons Division. Oh, yeah. They're definitely going to want to look at that armor. Giving their soldiers that kind of power would be very helpful to the military. Eventually, our sun will grow cold and go out. When that happens, it won't just take us. It'll take Marilyn Monroe, and Lao Tzu, and Einstein, and Moroputo, and all of us. It was for nothing. Unless we go to the stars. Yeah, we've got to be leaving our solar system. If we just stick around on Earth, it would be way too easy just to be wiped out and never heard from again. Alright guys, there we have it, episode 4, Infection. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. For me, this episode reminded me so much of the Blue Beetle storyline. They just had the Blue Beetle movie pretty recently, but Blue Beetle's been around for a long time now.
Blue Beetles from the comics, which I'm pretty sure was created before this show. Because if you haven't seen Blue Beetles, you should check it out just to see the similarities. Because the Blue Beetles is a scarab that looks exactly like it did in this show. Well, a little bit different. It's blue and it's a bit smaller. But it pretty much does the exact same thing. It even has its own personality. And it's from an alien world. Which I don't really remember too much about the alien world it comes from. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop comparing them. I just wonder why they're so similar. So if any of you guys know, let me know in the comments. Right, guys, that's going to be it for me for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, give it a like. Leave a comment. It really helps out. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.